Right, what's going on guys, and I hope you guys are having a great Saturday morning. Personally, I am feeling so damn good. I slept for about 14 hours in the last 24 hours. I mean, when I got home from exams yesterday, I tried to play some Modern Warfare 3, but I was getting too frustrated. My hands were dying because I just had my eco exam, like I said, and oh my god, it was, I had to write so freaking fast because you don't get any time to do that exam, so you just got to keep writing, keep writing, and, and my hand just broke down pretty much, and I couldn't really play card yesterday. But you know, I woke up this woke up this morning and I realized I couldn't find my Black Ops disc, uh, and that kind of sh that's kind of shit. So I think I'm gonna go buy a new one today. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it doesn't really cost that much. And since I have quite a bit of money stashed up, then uh, I guess I can probably afford it. But uh, anyway, this is a quick model for two free for all using the M1014 shotgun on Wasteland actually. And I don't exactly know. I mean, I got into this game and I wanted to use the Y2000. See if I get a gameplay with that. Um, I actually do have one now, but I thought you know what, I still need to get a game with this gun. And as easy it would have been, it would have been damn easy to get a game on like Scrapyard or Skid Row or something like that. So I thought I'd test myself a little bit, see if I could get a decent gameplay on this map. <laughs> and you guys will probably know that a shotgun on Wasteland really doesn't work too well. Um, I mean, you'll see numerous times that I make a few like you know errors of judgment. I just rush out when I should just stay inside, and and you know I end up going like 30 and 7. So it's a decent game. I do die a bit. I, I die a bit too much, but hey, uh, I hope you guys appreciate that. I'm trying to like you know put a bit of variety in the series and. I do use the payload, which is kind of unfortunate, but I did need a bit of a boost in this game. I'm sure you guys understand that. And, you know, I just generally thought I want to uh, get a pretty, I don't know, variety of gameplays, I suppose. And, uh, by the way, as you guys probably know if you guys play Modern Warfare 3, or Modern Warfare 2, sorry. That spawn point is probably the most common spawn point on Wasteland, behind that jeep over there, or that tank or some shit. That is a really common spawn point, so I like to patrol this general area sometimes. Um, when I'm using the shotgun, though, I generally go to the cave, uh, or the bunker, or something like that. I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, the bunker is uh, noob tube heaven on domination and ground war, which is why I never play ground war domination on wasteland. But I mean, there's always those guys going for those spawn tubes across the map and shit like that. So uh, no thank you, no ground war for me. Oh, but anyway, I didn't really think what I was going to talk about today. I have absolutely no freaking clue. Um, I guess I could talk a bit more about exams and stuff. Um, but I really don't feel like it, to be honest. Um, I guess maybe some plans for videos or something. I don't know. I mean, I got a lot of topics stashed up, uh, a bit more real life topics and stuff. Um, I mean, if you got anything in particular I want to talk about, or you want me to talk about, then uh, yeah, just go leave them in the comments. And um, by the way, thanks so much for that support on the USAS 12 Moab video. That was absolutely fantastic, and I hope you guys enjoyed the sniper Moab upload yesterday. Um, <laughs> that was pretty in pretty insane gameplay, and I'm I it really did look look like you enjoyed that game. And sorry, it's freaking 10:30 this morning, and don't you guys get that when you just can't seem to sleep anymore? I mean, I got up at seven this morning well i woke up anyway because there's this stupid guy um every single morning there's this guy with a scooter outside and it's like a scooter from the 1980s or some shit and it makes so much freaking noise it's freaking annoying uh, that is that that is just frustrating because i just wake up at the same time every single morning and i go i can go back to sleep but then i wake up like half an hour later again so my sleeping patterns get completely fucked over as you see these two guys sitting side by side trying to take down my escort with uh, a really stupid rocket launcher i think that's called the what's it called I can't even remember what that thing's called again. The AT4, that's it. But the payload could actually withstand about four of those uh, rockets. And on Modern Warfare 3, actually, the payload withstands four RPGs, which is pretty crazy, I think, and pretty annoying. <laughs> I remember once my entire team, it was a couple of days ago, me and Nick were at a party, and we were just trying to shoot down one payload, and I was using an LMG, and usually I can take out uh, an attack helicopter in about 25, 30 bullets, so it's really like five seconds and it's gone. But with the payload, it took me three lives. Like, I, we were shoot, we were all shooting at it, and it just would not go down. I mean, that thing is an absolute beast. And what I find funny is that one stinger wall will take it down, whereas, like, four RPGs won't. So, I thought that's kind of stupid. But, yeah, coming down to the end of the gameplay. Let me know how you thought about this gameplay. I mean, a shotgun on Wasteland, especially the M1014. And, oh my god, I should have talked about this gun, actually. Um, I, but I, I love this gun. It's freaking amazing. It's so much like the, uh, what's the USAS-12 from Modern Warfare 3. I mean, it looks completely different, but... It sounds exactly the same, it, the recoil is exactly the same, the fire rate is exactly the same, uh, the hit detection is similar, the range and the damage, it, it's just so similar to the to the USAS-12, uh, apart from the fact that you reload one pellet at a time. It's pretty damn pretty good, I mean, it's very similar uh, to the USAS-12, but I don't know, generally this is just a really badass shotgun to use. Uh, I mean, it only has four shots, which is definitely its downfall, but I have the extended mag attachment, which is all powerful. So uh, get, just give this gun a roll if you've got extended mags or you want to try and use this gun to its full potential. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Final school study is 7, and I'll catch you all later.